I'm gonna try to adopt him. That's my plan here. Um, let's just. I thought I got an okay position with what I did before, so let's try it again. I didn't move the queen the whole game. Oh, did I not move my queen that whole game? I think you guys are right. <laughs> I actually didn't move my queen, did I? Thank you to Wetsopa for the tier one. John Claire, thank you so much. Let me close this. Okay, let's go here. Thank you, Maxence for the three. Chelsea with the tier one. Lunar Lunar Lion as well. Thank you for the prime. Thank you to Liquid Sense for the tier one. Raphael with the prime. Four limbs with the prime. Noodle King with the prime. Rapetic with the prime. Z Sir K for the prime. Tonjalan with the prime. 1440er with the tier one. Thank you to Flink Lucius with the prime. Thank you so much to take go here. Thank you to Blue Bean for the prime. Haspy with the prime. Thank you so much. Thank you to Kyle Carbs, Sanjay Gobeth with the Prime, Zamper with the Prime, The Real Avant Gardens with the Prime, Low Sleep with the Prime, Insole with the Prime, Thank you to Frankie Zuno with the Prime, and Rat Dogski with the Prime. Thank you to MWW for the Tier 1, Lemon Chop for the Tier 1, thank you so much. Thank you to Umpots, The Grand Gilbert, thank you to Gabriel Caesar, Coil with the Prime, Infobus with the Prime, Legendary Roots with the Prime, thank you so much. Okay, let's go here. Maybe just Bishop E7 and Queen D7. Let's go here. Maybe I castle. Maybe I... I don't know which one I'm castling here. Do I go C5? I can. I think I'm just going to castle short because my king side looks pretty stable here. The bishop's not great, but it covers enough squares. I'm not that worried. I think I'm going to go... I'm going to go here. Oh, he's got queen h6. Why did I do that? That was kind of insane. Why did I do that? Okay, four f5 yeah i just, just it's insane to me i have bishop b4 maybe let's go here on queen d8 i gotta move faster king h8 was terrible i am threatening bishop b4 maybe so it's maybe not so bad go here and takes I guess goes rook d1 okay but I think I have f5 here maybe f4 oh does he just have queen f4 then bishop e7 or rook e4 let's go here I mean I want to go f4 can I go f4 here I think I can let's see, have knight g5 rook e7 I'm definitely in trouble, but if I get rook f5, rook h5, I have some chances, maybe. Let's go here. Knight g5, rook e7 is my idea, at least. Probably very bad somehow. Okay, let's go here. Knight d5, rook e knight g5. He goes knight e5, which I think is actually not the... Wait, I have rook f5 here? Because now I'm threatening rook h5 to trap the queen. It's getting very tricky actually my opponents kind of misplayed this because the knight holds f6 i might be finding a way out of this i might be winning now it's knight c4 wait so rook h5 what's his move i don't understand what am i missing bishop f6 i just take he trapped his queen go here and just takes okay let's go here I can also go f3 but do I want to play f3 I think I do want to play f3 maybe just h maybe just bishop c7 let's go here no checks on e8 or e7 can't take I have h4 and I'm just gonna win the Shram for the 300 bits von Frieda for the 1000 pizza dealer with the two S Van X for the 300, Sam Chessel for the 300, no op time, and Mr. MMG as well. Thank you so much. Thank you to Get, Get Stable Photographs for the Prime. Thank you to Humble Panda for the 3, Joppy with the 11, Tekoivu with the 7. Oh, let's do this and this. Thank you to Dr. Nix for the um for the 3 as well. Let's go here in G6. Whoa, thank you to Levy. Thank you for the raid with 3,710 people. Thank you so much to Mr. Gotham Chess, Levy Rosman, the one and only the number one chess 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 um, content creator on YouTube. Big shout out to Levy. 
Let's go knight c4, maybe b4, maybe a4, and b3 here, and bishop a3. I think Alfianu for the two months, a Lavender Rider for the two, Hummingbird for the two, Kane is great for the 17, Chaotic with the five, Romodoc for the two months. Thank you to Creed for the two months as well. Thank you so much. Let's go here. I think FR Mac for the two. Thank you to Byron Simon as well. Thank you so much. I'm going to do this. It's probably as bad, but I'm going to try to be like Yawn a little bit here and create some kind of weird imbalance on the on the queen side. Number one on YouTube, Antonio is crying. Uh, I mean, it depends how you define the metrics, but, but, but Levy, I believe, is getting more views. Thank you, Shlama Dog for the four months. MFC Square for the seven. Shine for the 12. Ooh, you like Dango as well. Thank you, Katanti. I can play f4 if I want. I think I'm just going to move my knight here. Thank you to Z the Q for the seven. The cage for the two. Be like Parthos for the seven. I like my position here. I don't know why I like it, but I have Bishop h3. I also just. If I go c5 here, I think I will. Thank you to Medora for the nine. Thank you to Asia McCrubs for the three. And Nadshu for the two months. Thank you so much to Ravalesh for the seven. Poby for the three bucks again. Thank you so much. Oh, no problem. No problem. Hope everybody's having a good afternoon. Or good good morning. I guess it could be two morning. Nepo tweet reads kind of weird. <sighs> what did Nepo write now? Okay, let's just take and go A5. Okay, I take with the pawn. I have knight c5 here. I also have bishop h3. Let's put pressure on. Look at these double ops. They're incredible. Look at the double ops, you guys. There, there are two pins here. There's nothing that the black can do. Thank you to ISAT 2P for the two months. Other one for the two months. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, first, I think I can take. Second, I can take. I mean, it's got, what, Knight G5 or something? But this can't really work. Maybe it does. But I'm going to go here. Maybe Knight C5, Knight E6. Looks completely fine. Oh, we can also take... Okay, it goes there. I'm going to go here in 96, I guess. Let's go here. Try to get rid of this knight. I mean, you can get a huge pawn wall. He's, he can go f3. Um, let's just go a6, queen h5, h4. If he takes, I go here, and so he's, he's walled up. There's no checkmate. Let's go c6 d5 here. Let's take let's do the same thing. I thought my position was okay. I'm gonna try to adopt him. That's my plan here. Um let's just I thought I got an okay position with what I did before. So let's try it again. I didn't move the queen the whole game. Oh, did I not move my queen that whole game? I think you guys are right. <laughs> I actually didn't move my queen, did I? I didn't move my queen, you're right. Let's go here in rook d8, I guess. It's a good point. I actually didn't. Let's go here and I want to go bishop f8. I'd be a little bit careful of weirdness with like queen h6. I think Godzilla for the, or Bobzilla for the 12 and Sejopi as well. Thank you so much. Okay, let's just go here and Bishop F8, I guess. Maybe I have C5 at some moment also, but I think it's okay here. Take, I take with a pawn. Maybe Bishop F8, G7 here. I thought c5 looked reasonable here just to open up the center. e5 was also maybe okay, but I was worried about some weirdness over here.
Who needs queens when you have two ops? Also true. The double op combo is very strong. I'm just going to take. I guess I take with a rook, although I don't know if it's right. Still have to be careful of weird stuff here. My knight's also a little bit misplaced. I would like it somewhere over on the king's side, potentially. Let's take with a rook. I guess rook d2, logical move. I can take... Actually, I think I just take and go here on bishop e7. Or do I go... Wait, I also have this in f5. No, I think I just go back. I want to play f5 next move. Let's go here. I guess he has... No, and I... I have f5. I also have just b6, maybe? Oh, wait, no. Then, he... then I lose a pawn. Wait, let's go here. Thank you, Jack Gaff, for the Prime as well. Thank you so much to Jack Gaff. Appreciate it. Thank you. Once again, you guys, um, if you do have uh, Amazon Prime, remember, if you have Amazon Prime, you can connect it to your Twitch Prime, and you can subscribe to any channel free once once a month. So make sure you use your Amazon Prime. It doesn't have to be on me, but make sure that you use it. It does not auto-renew, and um, you don't you don't want to send those five bucks to Amazon. You can put them in the put that in the pocket of hardworking streamers. So make sure you use your Amazon Prime. 31,669 people. Nice. Thank you to Gigasauce for the Prime. Thank you so much. It doesn't work on Twitch. Very funny. It doesn't work on Twitch. Very funny. Thank you, Tervia, with the Prime. Because any with the two months. Doesn't work on Twitch. Um, I'm going to take and go back, maybe. kind of want to go check a knight c1 here. Oh, but I gave him knight d7. Oh, no. That was a terrible move by me, actually. He doesn't take advantage. Let's go. Let's go here. I thought I king e8 maybe. It's very tricky. I have knight e1 or knight f4. He can't move the rook because any of these squares get checked and he loses the rook. Right now it's defended, but I'm threatening knight f4 here. Here's b5. This must be winning somehow for me. One king off one. Actually, let's go check in here. I think this should be winning. How do I win this though? Maybe just here. Oh, that was a terrible move. There we go. We've got the win. Let's keep going. Thank you to Danuka Flute for the Prime. Bazarius for the Prime. Pardon my tokes. Jurassic uh, Rooster. Thank you so much to Lonadar. Thank you to Martzik UK. Little Drum for the Primes. Thank you so much for the Primes. Thank you It's Mirror with the Prime. Wiz with the Prime. Thank you Nico with the Prime. Canadian Baconator with the Prime. Thank you so much. Thank you Picks for the Two and the Elite for the Four as well. Thank you so much. Let's go Bishop. Actually, let's go with this one. H3 here. Uh, let's play d4 and bishop c4 or c3 here. Let's go here in knight e4 and castles. 
Go a4. Maybe a5 is an idea here. I just kind of want to attack on the queen side. Goes a6. I think I can go bishop g5 now because he played h5. I had knight takes f2 instead of knight e1. No, I don't think I did actually. Uh, knight f2? Oh, maybe I did. I don't know. Anyway, let's go here. I think I just take so I hit the queen. Take and take, I guess. Should be winning e6 this week here. Let's go here. Let's go c6 and d5 here. Go e6, maybe knight d7, maybe just bishop d6 here and trade. I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. I thought I got a good position last game, but I'm gonna play it slightly differently. I think I'm gonna castle this game. Might not be right, but I'm gonna go for it. So I have e5. Thought I could take, or do I have knight? Wait, wait a second. Bishop g3, h3. Let's go here. I can take, I guess, and go rook d8. I think I'm going to do this. Takes and play like rook d8, maybe. Take the open line. Take the queenside pawns here as well. I can take on c4, what's he have, rookie six or something? I'm going to go c5. Maybe not best, but I'm going to play it. Uh, still, I can't take. Let's go king b8. I can take here maybe. I think I can take and go queen d7 maybe. Um, I guess I take. I don't know if a taking is right, but it looks okay. Um, I'm gonna go here maybe queen d4. Oh, that was a bad. That was actually a terrible move by me. Okay, let's just go here and rook d1, I guess. Thank you to Hamster Ham for the 8, Chu 8 for the 6, Titan X for the 2, Ibuprofenista for the Prime, I Permaban, Michael Wright, Gutierrez for the Prime. Thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you to ZX Melkor for the tier 1. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. ZX Melkor. I don't have Queen d5. I do have Rook d5, maybe, and Rook h5. Still doesn't feel right somehow.
queen f3. Maybe I go here to hit the queen. Queen b3, queen d5. Okay, now I should be doing well. Let's go here. Force a trade of queens. I have rook h5. Whoa, they need a kill deer for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Kill deer, appreciate it. Why don't I ever do an IRL stream when you went for a hike? Um, as, as I would hope that you guys know, when you do I when you go into the mountains, usually you don't have cell reception. So it's kind of hard to do that. Kind kind of hard to do a stream when you don't have you when you don't have a connection. That's part of the reason you go out and you do hikes, is because you have no connection. You're you're sort of out there in the wilderness. Let's go here in F4. Can you record with the video cam? Yeah, of course you can record with a GoPro and play it later, but I mean it's obviously it's obviously completely different. go b3 I think I can go f5 I can also go bishop d2 let's go here Okay, let's take I can play Bishop f4 maybe just Bishop D oh I could have gone Bishop h6 that might have been better probably I should have gone there and then back or maybe Queen f2 my Rook's a little bit iffy here on a1 probably Bishop h6 and Rook d1 was the way I should have played this position but it's still very much a game surprise on each one uh I'm a little bit surprised that he won after after he lost the fourth game but it's not crazy when will the eye tracker speed run return probably after I take my short break around like the 20 29th or around the end of the month wait if I take he's got Bishop d4 I think I'm gonna play rook d1 here if I take still bishop d4 I have f6 maybe I don't love it but I'm gonna do something a little bit unusual here so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go f6 and I guess I'm gonna push e5 here maybe I even sack the exchange maybe I just go e5 let's go e5 let's see how this works out I want to go bishop g5 so I'm gonna go here he doesn't have f6 because he loses and I still have knight a4 at some moment or bishop g5 f6 go c4 logical move I have bishop g5 I also have just knight a4 here which is what I want to play idea is to play knight c5 to hit the bishop bishop b5 loses to a4 if queen b6 I think I just go bishop e3 my opponent is up a pawn but he's a very bad bishop here on the rim uh f6 was losing because of a fossil so now I go here if f6 I take and he loses the rook on b8 because he gets fossilized let's go d4 not worried about this pawn at all I think uh actually wait rook a1 he's got queen b2 Maybe I just go bishop f6. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to attack. Let's go h4, h5. Just attack his king side here. Maybe just rook d2. Hit the queen. If queen h5, I think I have queen h3 or queen f4 and then g4, which wins the game. Who is Mr. Dodgy on Twitter? I don't actually know. Let's play h5 here. go here guard guard everything I have h6 
go here, I guess. Everything is guarded. I can also take, I can also play h6 at some moment too. Let's go here. Let's go, let's go for the lolly checkmate. Boom. And I think he just can't stop it. His king, he's just going to get checkmate on g7 here. Nothing he can do. Pretty ugly, uh, ugly position. Go C6 D5, I guess. He can still play Bishop H6, but I think it's okay. Okay, I'll go here. So I can take the pawn, I think. Can I grab this juicer? I kind of want to do it. I'm sure it's bad. But I don't see why it's bad, so I'm just going to take it. Maybe I just castle? Not bishop f5, not knight f6, maybe just rook d8. This is probably really quite bad for me. I don't know why I did this. Let's just go for it. Let's castle. I'll go knight f6 and then maybe queen b6. Uh, yeah, my my mind's not in sync with it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I guess I go queen a4 and queen a3. It's kind of ugly, but I think it's playable. I could have gone this way and takes maybe. But I think my queen's a little bit wayward on that line. Does it have bishop c5 or something? Wait, now I have 90... Wait, I have 94 maybe? Because... If he plays rookie four, takes, takes, he loses his queen at the end. He wanted to go b3 to hit the queen, so I had no, no square and keep an eye on the pawn. He takes, I think I just go here. Might have been a mistake. It is a mistake. I knew it was a mistake. Okay, whatever. Let's just trade and go rook d8. I could have maybe taken d3 too. I'm gonna go c4 maybe. Can I go c3? C3 is a good move too. Might not win this game. Let's put the pawns on dark squares to start with. I've got to be careful that I don't get my rook trapped here somehow by G3. It goes there. I can just go here. Let's go here. Go back. Okay, I think I'll try to bring the king in now. Okay, I have to somehow keep peace on the board. I'm gonna run my king up this way. I'm gonna go rook b5, try to hit the pawns here. Is it rook c4 or something? Okay, what I go here? Go here, bring the king over maybe. Let's go here, hit the pawn, a3. I think I'm winning this position. Can I talk about Toplov? What what about Toplov? I don't understand. What's the question? A3, c5. 
can also just go let's go here okay i can obviously go here i guess i can also take and take on f3 but i think that's wrong let's go here Take should be winning now because I have rook c5, rook a5, and a2. Let's go here, a2, and I, I block and I win the game. If I go rook a5, takes, 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 it's over. Let's go here. Wait, how did I blunder this? Oh my god, I just blundered this somehow. I'm gonna have to flag him. Checkmate, there we go. Let's go again. Good night of three, D three. Oh the chess tour is a long chess tour is long, you guys. It 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 doesn't end for quite some time. Let's go E four and takes. Go g3, bishop g2. Let's go d4, maybe c3 here. Just castles. Okay, let's castle. I'm gonna go knight f1, maybe h4, h5, maybe knight h2 at some moment. Let's play h4. Probably knight f1 next move. Let's go a3, stop knight b4. Important, so he doesn't have a knight before knight d3. Now I'm going to rotate my knight to like g4 or something. Maybe h5 at some moment. Okay, let's go. Let's go here. Why not? Knight h2, knight, knight g4. Keep keep this whole king's Indian attack idea alive. Let's just take with a bishop. That's a free pawn if I want it. I can also go h5. No, let's take it. It's a free pawn. Okay, let's go h5, maybe h6. Pretty dangerous position for my opponent here. I really like what's going on. Let's take. I have knight g5 here. Pressure on e6. I mean, you can take with the f pawn, but knight g5 and queen g4 looks pretty, pretty bad. So I'm just going to go for the classic checkmate on the h file here. Line it up. Let's drop the bishop back, stop the queen trade, and now I go rook h1. Pressure on this side, and it's all good. I'm play b3. Let's go b3, just to stop the knight jumps. And queen c3, I just go rook b1, hold the pawn, no threats. f5. Okay, obviously I take... Go here, queen f3, queen e2. Let's go g6. Actually, let's do this one. He plays bishop e3. Is he really going to do that? Let's go here. I'll just play here, maybe e5, maybe queen a5. Okay, does that one. Let's go e6, close the center. Let's play h5. Knight g4, I also have queen a5, and I guess I'm, I'm going to castle king side. I don't know if it's right, but it creates more of a messy position. Let's go here, rook d8 next move. Maybe knight g4 as well. Maybe just rook d8, pressure down the center. Knight d6, let's go here, rook d7. Or actually, would I have queen d5 also? Let's go here. I guess I'll go queen a6. And I'll trade, I guess. 
I don't like my position, but it's playable. Let's go here. Maybe knight d5, maybe knight g4. Don't like the position, but it's playable. Are there any other Japanese GMs than you? Um, there's Joel Lotier, who uh, was from France. He's half Japanese, also like me. Um, the only other strong, really strong chess player, I would say, of Japanese, Japanese descent. Just go here, I guess. Maybe knight d7 is a move. Maybe knight g4, maybe c5, maybe b5. Goes f3. I'm gonna play b5 to chip away the structure and try to open up this lot this lane. Let's pre-move this because it's a safe pre-move. Nothing can happen if he trades. Oh, let's just take. I can hit h. Wait, that's a free pawn. I think he missed that this was a free pawn. And now I should just be much better, or should be maybe. Thank you to uh, Paul Platz for the two and Death No Thick for the Prime, Swamp and Do, Yayam Adam for the Prime, Nerdy for the six, Addy for the four, Anna Paul and Akamura for the two, IMG Tavares for the three, Cryptic and Panda for the two, Hi Ompi for the three. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Let's just go here, hit the knight. Can obviously trade. I, I think I should just trade and go like Rook D8, pressured on this pawn. Okay, I think I go A5. I think it's important that now I take. And now I go for the double, and this should just be pretty cleanly winning, especially now that the king can't run up. Important that this king can't run out. Okay, it goes a3. I can play a4 here, but then the king runs in. So I think the way that I want to try to win this, I can also take and go here. Is that actually winning? <sighs> hmm. b4 takes, takes here. I think it's just winning. Yeah, I think it's just winning. Let's go here. Plays B4. Oh, whoops. I actually missed that he could play B4. Probably still winning, but oi, oi, oi. Okay, let's think. A4. I think I go A4. I think this is winning. This must be winning somehow. Let's go here. Why did I do this? Oh man, I really flubbed this again. But I think I'm still winning, probably. Wait, that's a mistake, I think. Wait. Let's go here. Should be winning. My king is close enough here. Let's take, and now I win. Let's just take. Check, and there we go. Why did I take the rook? Because he goes, he goes c7, and I, I, it doesn't work. If I take, he goes c7. So that was just a mistake. But anyway, we keep going. One more for uh, one more for ten. Now I can obviously take. I can also play something like I think I'm gonna go b3 and like bishop a3 again. Plays that. I'll go here. Hit the knight.
Okay, I can play knight h4 here. I can also just take... I feel like there's some trick here that I'm missing. Um, Let's go... Let's go here. I think there, there are weaknesses in the in the black camp. How do I do this, though? I know there's something, but I don't see it right off. Whatever. Let's just grab the pawn. I, don't, I mean, if it's no good, it's no good. It's a free pawn, though. I feel like there should have been something better. Maybe it takes... Thank you to H Jammy for the three months. Thank you to this dredger for the 500 bits. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to Jayhawk for the three months. Thank you so much, Jayhawk. I'm going to just go back. If E4, I can just take, I think. I think I can even just take. Because I can take, I have rook c7, I have e5. Actually, I should have probably just grabbed the pawn. That was maybe a mistake on my part. Knight f6, I think I just take. Rook e5, I also have knight f5, gf5. I feel like I should have some way to win here. Hmm. Just take. I mean, I guess he can take with a queen. Doesn't have to take with a pawn. I was hoping he had to take with a pawn. Go check. Maybe just knight f3. Maybe I can even just take. I also have bishop f1, but I think I should, should be some safe way. Let's just go. Just go here. Hopefully I didn't just blunder. Knight e4, maybe. That's a good move. I missed that. I think I can play c4. Oh, then he's got queen e5. Yeah, let's just go here. Hit the pawn, hit the pawn. Knight c4, knight e3 maybe. Let's go here. Rook e1, just king h2. I have knight e6 ideas. He's also got rook e2. Two, but then g4 maybe. Knight e4, interesting move. Huh. Maybe a very good move too. Knight e6. What's his move though? I'm gonna go here. I don't know if it's right. Maybe I had queen e3 even. If I go g4, queen e6, there's nothing. Let's just keep, let's just roll the pawns on the queen side now. h5. You can play h4. Yeah, let's just play h4. Queen e6. No knight e3s here. Let's hit the pawn there. I take with the knight. Okay, I take with the queen, go here. It's very tricky. I've actually misplayed this. Um let's focus, focus, focus. Just blundered this completely. I think I have a draw here, but how do I draw this? I guess I go. It was just a draw. I think it's a draw at least. Oh, did I just blunder again? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I just have check. Yeah. Check H1. I don't see the win here.
He just blundered. Wow, he just threw that away. He totally threw that. <laughs> Insane. Okay, two more. Let's go D5. Let's play the Carl Khan again. Thank you to Mr. Me for the Prime, the boy Moodkip. Thank you to Alphatica for the Prime as well. Thank you so much. Let's go here and here. Try to get to 30 to 30 at least. Start to grind closer. Within 100 of, uh, of my all-time high at least. Let's go here. Bishop E7. Now I can castle short. I mean, is it okay or not is the question. I think it is. I'm going to do it. I might lose here. There might be some trick with queen h6 that I'm missing. But I think I just have rook d8. I'm trusting that I'm not getting mated here. But I might be getting mated. I want to go bishop f8, g7. I'm knight e5. I go queen e8, and I hold the glue here. And I don't actually see the win for white. So I have bishop f8 and bishop g7. Am I playing a youth prospect? Yes. Yes. Okay, it just goes back. Okay, so basically he admits that he made a mistake. Um, I can play C5 maybe. Now let's go C5 and open this up. He goes rookie one. I think I'm going to play like rook D5, maybe rook H5 ideas. Maybe rook f5 as well. I like my position here. Thank you to Francis GX for the two months. Dem, dem poops for the prime. Thank you so much. Let's go here. I like my position. My king is very stably protected by this big pawn wall. Do I intentionally play dubious positions? Um, Not necessarily. Sometimes. I like to play stuff that's more double edged that leads to more imbalances if I can if I have the option though. Let's go here, maybe queen d7. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's just go here, consolidate, take the file, maybe knight a4, maybe rook d3. I'd love to go knight a4 at some point, but it doesn't really do much. Knight c4 is also actually. Yeah, let's go here. Because if c4, I think I have rook d3, and I'm trusting I'm not blundering somehow. I also have rook d1, I guess. Queen c2. Okay, let's go b5. Hold all the glue. And now the knight is really good here. Um, I can take. I can also just... I also... No, wait. I don't have that. I think I'm just going to drop the bishop back and take with the queen, maybe. I also b4 at some moment, maybe. Let's take. Queen c6, I guess. Position's very stable here. I have b4. I have... Actually, I'm going to go... I'm going to reroute my knight here. Okay, let's go wait do i go b7 or a8 or e8 i'm gonna go to a8 because i have 94 here at least that's my idea 94 and what's the move i don't understand he's just losing because of the pin you can maybe take it should be losing though oh he's got queen e6 he has some tricks here aha uh -huh, he has tricks let's go here though and hit the rook and guard this so like, even if he moves the bishop i take the rook and if not i just take and there's no queen e6 because my queen holds it very importantly okay goes knight e5 so first of all i have fe5 secondly i go king g8 and i don't see the mate Maybe I'm blundering something, but I don't see a checkmate here. The rook's still under attack. I think knight c5 is winning. No rook d8, so I take, and now he's forked. Okay, let's go again. Let's play e4. Have I seen Ludwig stream? Yeah, I'm familiar with what's going on there. I haven't watched it closely, but okay, let's do this one. All right, he's going to go queen c7. Okay, I think e5 is supposed to be fine. I think I just go h3. why did i play this hmm let's go here bishop g2 i guess let's go here 97 i just 
Castle. He can't go. Okay, he goes there. Do I go 94 is a big question. Take six, queen, five, bishop, f4. I don't know if it's good, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just going to play knight e4, and if he takes, I just take. And queen e5, bishop, f4. I'm trying to line up a bunch of threats with the double op combo in the center of the board. Go over that double adoption, big Chad. Double adoption? That would be what, 20? So it's 11 -0? I can try that. I can try. Double adoption or until, or until I lose the game. That's a pretty fair, fair way of doing it. Castles. I don't really want to take. So maybe I should just take and go like g4 and knight h4. Play for the double bishop or the two bishops here. I mean, the b's are always good. If you can get two b's against two knights, it's really, really good. Let's go f4, consolidate my pawn chain. Now bishop e3 is an idea to hit the knight because this isn't hanging anymore. Yeah, two b's are always very good. <laughs> Why do I never play bullet on stream? I do sometimes. Not not lately, but I have, yeah. I can take I think this is actually a better move first to hit the knight and then I take next move. Goes knight a4. Weird move. I just take. And just c3. This looks very strange. Just guard the pawn. I don't this knight is maybe good, but I don't think it is. I mean, I think, how do I want to play this is the first question. I'm going to go queen f2. Stop knight h4. Play rook c1 here. I have f5. I also have h4, h5 at some moment. So I'm just going to go here and bishop d. Oh, he's got knight c4, but then rook c2 maybe. And now I go b3. I remove the knight, and then my, my b is going to d6. His other knight is not good. Just the two Bs are so strong from distance here. Thank you to Spencer for the six months. Best year on Twitch by far. Thank you so much to Spencer. Appreciate it. I can play B3 at some moment. I can also go like H4, H5 or Bishop E4. I like H4 here. Actually, let's just go b3. Get rid of that knight. And I can even go c4 next move if I want to. Or just bishop d6, which actually looks quite good. Let's go c4. Consolidate. No knight jumps. I have f5. This is really starting to go downhill for my opponent. I remember the times when he called... I call the bishops ops normally, but right now I'm going to go with the classic Canadian. Uh, the two b's. The two b's. The two b's are very strong here. I can also just go f5 maybe. Yeah, I'm just going to go f5 and start to attack. Goes knight f8. Let's go c5. Lock this knight on the rim. No jumps whatsoever. Knight is just sitting on the edge of the board doing nothing really. So now just take. I have e6. I also have rook c4. I also have like queen g3. I'm just going to go here. Go for e6. Go for f6. Just go for big, big attacks. I also have rook c4 maybe. Yeah, let's go rook c4, hit the knight, and rook c4. Laterally go for the go for the game under. Let's play c Oh, it's plus one now. So no, I, this will be the last game. Plus one is not going to get it done. Yo no soy marinero. Soy marinero. Soy capitán, soy capitán, soy capitán. Okay, I think I go queen d5, hit the pawn, hit the pawn on g2 also. I mean, this is a free juicer. Is it good to take it? Probably not. Um, On the other hand, if I lose, I lose. I don't see it though, so I'm going to take it. Okay, he goes bishop f4. I think I just go here to hit the bishop. Now queen f5. Okay, I have rook d8. I also have knight c4. Actually, bishop d6 is a good move. Or is it? Wait, I have f5? No, that's no good. I have to be very careful here. This might be a problem. I didn't see queen a3 at all. 
Hmm, bishop d8 looks dubious, very dubious at that. Um, I just missed queen a3 completely. Knight d5 or knight c4? Knight c4 is a move, probably not good, so let's go back and hope. Yeah, now I'm going to play like... This might be really bad for me, actually. Like, really bad. Run with my king, maybe? Probably going to lose because I got too greedy. There's rook g1, which is fine, but maybe not... Oh, no. Rook g1 is very good, actually. Yikes. Yeah, I'm just losing here. Try to get too greedy grabbing the pawn. I, kn I knew that I shouldn't have done it, but I couldn't help myself. And now I think I'm just lost. Yeah, maybe even, it's not even not even close to being okay. It's probably just losing on the spot. But let's see if I can survive somehow. I'm way down on the clock. So if, if I'm going to survive, I have to move fast. Yeah, bishop d8 was terrible. Probably this whole... Queen g4 was just a bad move. I should have just gone knight d5 right away. I don't know why I did this. There's bishop d6. Don't I rook... Wait. I've just got to move, though, if I can. But, I, I mean, I just have no moves. Yeah, I just have no moves. I just lose. Oh, I had knight d7. Didn't even see that. Shows how off I am at the moment in this last game. Yeah, it just loses. I should not have played when it was minus 13. Now I just blundered that one, yeah. That was terrible. Through that game. Okay. Okay, eight more. Eight more than I'm stopping. 20 to one will be my target goal now. Should not have grabbed that pawn. Big mistake. Let's go here, g3, knight f3. Let's go here, hit the bishop, knight, knight, f3, knight, e5. It's also got h3, which I allowed. Let's go here. Yeah, I, when I saw it was plus one, that already kind of was a little bit like, like that psychologically was a little bit depressing. Because anytime you play plus one, there's no gain. But yeah, I'll just beat him eight more and stop. And now I'm not going to take it easy. Actually, I'm not, I'm going to focus 100%. So I'm going to ignore subs for a little bit. Just going to blitz him off the board. It's definitely not right. Let's go here, knight of five. Okay, now I can play knight c4. I can also just go like queen f3. Now it's just lost. I have c6, which wins here. But I don't even want to do that. I just really want to play knight e4, knight e6, and just finish the game. Excuse me. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Okay, let's just go here. Yeah. 
Why did I allow rookie eight? This is kind of stupid of me. I'm still winning after C6, but I shouldn't have allowed this. Okay, that's one. Okay, I got a winning position last game with this, so I'm going to play it again. Queen f4, kind of a little bit unusual. I'm going to go queen f8, queen g7, I guess. No bishop h4 because of g5, obviously. Maybe I could have just... Actually, I could have just gone king g7. Why didn't I go king g7? Okay, let's go here. I'm going to go here, maybe queen h8 next move. Queen h5, maybe just double it up. Maybe a5, a4 at some moment as well to bring the rook down this way. It's better. It's a 15 to 1 to not lose. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the nature of the game. It's the nature of the beast, as they say. Thank you, Slim G, for the 11. Thank you, Solo Sapiens, for the Prime. Thank you so much. Okay, now I go here, though. I think h4 is slightly wrong. I mean, it is queen g4, but then queen h5. Looks fine. a4 is a logical move. At the same time, it's not a great move, I don't think. So I can go here, and then I can play like knight, knight c8. Maybe reroute my knight. Actually, let's go here first. Now I want to go knight c8, knight e7. I always have a5 to plant the bishop on b4. Uh, I can also reroute the knight to f5. Okay, what's his threat? No threat. Is d5 a threat? Maybe. Knight e5 is a quasi threat, so I can play queen h5 if I want to. The question is whether knight e5 is a threat. If knight e5 is a threat, then this is very bad. It might be, so. Knight c8, d5. Yeah, I'm just going to drop back with the bishop. And probably play queen h. Oh, he's got a5 now. Here goes rookie one. I'm going to reroute my knight now. No knight e5, I still can take and block. If I get the knight to f5, I should be better. c5 is very committal. Okay, go. So let's go back with this. Now, do I have 97 here? I think I do. 95 takes 6, f6 takes 6. Yeah, it's still it's playable. If 95, okay, queen f4, I go here, hit the bishop. e5 is a big threat now. Should be winning with the double stack. Queen g4, okay, wait a second. I must be better. Ah, he wants, no, wait. If I go here, I hit the pawn. If rookie four, I can take. I also have queen h. I also have c five. Wait a second. Let's just go c five. And take and rook d five, and it just looks like a clean pawn to me. Knight is great. King is very safe. He goes queen there. Bishop e five is not a good move. What's his idea? Queen queen c seven. I don't understand what his idea is, so I'm just going to go rook d7. He also has no time here, so I should be much better. I could have also taken g3. Maybe I should have. Okay, now I will just take.
Okay, let's go again. Five more to go. Let's go here. Who won Yonner on each? Um, on each one. Let's go here, I guess. Let's go here. Bishop b3. He has to go knight b6 here, because otherwise I threaten to take and go queen e6. Wait a second. So takes, takes, check, check. Wait, is this actually a move here? This cannot be a move. Is this really a move? Check king h6. I mean, maybe it's a move. I don't know. So I'm just going to retreat. I don't know. I feel like I could have probably sacked, but I don't want to blunder here. Let's go here in d4, I guess. Um, let's just take and go knight e3. Maybe d4 next move. Thank you, WT Jab for the 22 months. Thank you, Pac Man for the Prime. Let's go here. I don't know if I go back which way I go back here. I'm going to go back here, though, to play Knight c4. Keep the Bishop on the golden diagonal. Do I take is also a question, or do I go here? My instinct says I shouldn't take. On the other hand, I probably should. Let's just take and go here. I think I can just castle, or do I. I can't castle. Obviously, I'd be checkmate. I have f3. I also have castles. I'm just going to play f3 here. So I have bishop c4 and like bishop e4. A lot of threats. I feel like castles was better for some reason. Don't know why I didn't castle there. Yeah, first place was 60,000. Thank you, Lucasio, for the two months. Thank you, Lucasio. Um, I'm going to just drop back. I have bishop e4. I have bishop c4. Thank you, Game Specky, for the prime. Thank you so much, Game Specky. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Since when does he card play chess? Since never. Since never, you guys. He goes back to f6, which again strikes me as a partic particularly weird move. Let's go here, bishop d2, I guess. I mean, I can also move my king, I guess, if I want. But I think bishop d2, c3 looks correct. No, no, I, I won the first uh, 12 games before I dropped one. So it, it was an adoption. Okay, I guess I go long. I could have gone short here. I don't know what that does exactly. I'm going to go here to threaten Bishop A5. Now I have to go back. And maybe... Wait, did he just blunder it? I think he just did. The funny thing is he blundered it, but it's actually not wonderful for me. It's not actually that wonderful, weirdly. Rook takes D8. A3. Not trivial. Not happy with this. I guess I'll just take and go here. Can't move the bishop. Okay, it goes a6. Don't want to go queen d4. I guess I'll just sidestep. Hopefully I don't blunder something here, but I think it's okay. Have to go for today. Goodbye, guys. Have a good have a good one, DZ. Thank you to Matt for the for the prime thing. Stuff happened for the prime. Thank you so much. Now I go here to hit the pawn, line up all the diagonals. I also maybe have some battery ideas too. Let's work HG8. Shouldn't really matter. I think I just take and take. I'm just up a pawn here. Should not really bother me. I'm going to go G4 to stop anything. I think I just okay. I can take. Let's focus for a second. If I take bishop c4, a e8. Wait a second. B3 is not what I want to play, but I will play it anyway. 
Oh wait, he moved. He played e4. If I take. Let's just go here. Let's take. And take. And that's game over. Okay, let's go again. Let's go here. Let's play d5. Four more to go. He's playing the same line. Okay, I'll do this again. Okay, so we're going to have the same line with b5, as I recall. He plays like knight e2, knight g3. Okay, let's go here. Plays h4. I mean, I'm going to give him h5 again. And this one, do I want it? No, I'll just take and play. Actually, no, let's go here and hit the pawns all in one go. Okay, so he gambits the pawn again. I don't really believe that this is playable, but you know what? Last time I did this, I got myself into a stupid situation. So no nonsense. Let's just go here. I don't think... I think I can probably grab the pawn, but I grabbed the pawn last time for no reason, and it cost me dearly. Now I am going to grab the pawn, though. Or am I? Castles, queen g7, rook df8. I mean, I feel like he's he's trying to bait me into taking the pawn. And in a way, I don't want to, but on the other hand, I know that it's not right, so I want to prove a point. Queen g4, castles. Queen g7, rook f8. F3. No, I mean, I'm going to prove a point here. Or am I? Or did I just blunder d5? Oh my god, I just blundered d5. Oh wait, no, I can just... Oh my god, I just blundered. Or wait, no, d5 is not a problem, because I can castle. I just... Jeez, literally, I just, I literally just did it again. No, no reason to get creative, and I get creative. Exactly, I just get creative for no reason, and now I just lose. Incredible. I just got creative at the wrong time again. Literally, no need for it. I just, I couldn't help myself again. <sighs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Go here. I mean, the good thing is I can take. I mean, maybe I'm still in the game, but I, there's just no need for it. What's the difference? The difference is the queen on e2. Wait, what's that? <laughs> he just blundered right back. Okay. Good, good. He gets punished, which is good. Okay, now I'm just now I'm just winning. I'm up two pawns. Now just, just no stupidity and no blunders. Perfect blunder? Not really. I mean, that's pretty poor by me, but... Anyway, I, w I win the game because queens come off now. I just take. I mean, maybe his queen... Oh, he's got queen f3. See, I'm, just, again, trying to be too fancy-schmancy for no reason. I'm so I still should be winning here, but that was completely uncalled for. Do I have rook g3 as a question? Queen c6, king f8. I w oh, let me see. So if I take queen c6, king f8, fg3 takes, takes... I'm going to go for it, even if I'm not sure that it works. Yeah, even if I'm not sure it works, I'm going to do it. So if he takes, I have a check, and I just end the game. So I go here, he takes, I go up. And I, I have a potential smother checkmate lurking. Oh, no, he can just take. Oh, my gosh, he can just take on E3. What the, What am I doing? I didn't even... Oh, my gosh, I didn't even see that he could take the knight. Wow. I didn't even see he could take the knight. That is so bad by me. That's so incredibly bad. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. I didn't even see he could take the knight. Wow. I still think I have winning chances, but that was so bad. I mean, if I take the pawn, I mean, I'm very much in the game. I also have a rook g2 idea at least. His king is worse than... Well, but that was just a blunder. That was just a blunder. It's still very much a game, but his king is worse than mine. So I should be winning here. Just tune in to stream, am I good? Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm all good. Just unhappy with my play at the moment. I expect better for myself. 
Okay, now this is definitely winning. I just have to be smart about how I play this. Queen d3 is a tricky move here. Queen c2 is a move. Okay, let's just... Wait, well, what am I doing? Just move, just move. Okay, let's go here. I feel like I'm misplaying this. Okay, let's go here. I guess I take and come back. H4, A6, H3, A7, H2, and I win by one tempo, right? Here goes rook d1. Let's go here. Guard the pawn, bring the queen back. Go here. Maybe queen e2 is better. Oh, that's a free queen. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> three to go, three to go. Let's go here. Play c5 right away. I think just go here and queen f3 maybe takes. I just take. First of all, I can take. And I think I should. Just take and take. FM means FIDE master. His rating, uh, FIDE rating has to be, I believe, 2300 plus. Because rook d2. I can play b4. I think rook e2 is also good here. Yeah, let's just trade some rooks. Okay, let's go here. Double stack. I can trade. Again, I can go rook. Should be winning with rookie seven. The only question is, do I keep one rook on or two rooks on is the question. Seven takes bishop f7, king h7. My instinct says I should keep one rook on. Plays h4. I can play rook f7. I'll also take with a bishop. Wait, if I take. He doesn't have takes, so I have rook d7. Okay, he goes h7. I guess I go here. I have to be careful because of knight h5, which is a little bit problematic. So I'm going to go knight e3. So when he goes knight h5, I can go knight d5. And I cover, I, I block his knight from coming into the game. His knight is very good if it gets to f4, so I want to go here to cover it. And the pawn holds this square, so that's why I don't care about this pawn on the edge. So let's go here. Cut the square, hold the pawn. Knight is stuck on the rim. It's grim. Okay, king h6 doesn't look like a great move. I can play f4 maybe. Rook a7, bishop e5. So I'm going to go f4 here. Again, try to try to tie his pieces up and put leave them out of the game here. Rook b8. He wants to go rook f8, I guess, is his idea. Still very tricky to win. But this should be winning somehow. Very tricky. Hmm. Let's let's play a4. I mean, he still has rook f8, I guess. Gonna be hard to win, but I feel like this outside pawn should matter. Let's just go here. Bring the king up. Let's go here. Maybe d3 was better, actually. Okay, where do I go? C7 or E7? I think I go to C7. Because I want to be able to bring the knight to one of these central squares. It's a good move too. Let's go here. Okay, 
let's go here that white dot on my eye is annoying you i'm sorry you guys but that's just how it is it's not something that i can just take care of it's not just like a little speck okay let's go here to hit the bishop i'm gonna hit the pawn yeah the thing that you mean the thing that's on my eye i can't i can't get rid of it you guys so that's not really nothing i can do about that let's take let's go here go here a6 a7 should just be winning a a6 a7 a8 game over i <laughs> take out the eyeball and clean it good one that does nothing <laughs> take out the eyeball and clean it good one Good TO good way to get good good TOS, you guys. Good TOS. <laughs> Let's go here and here. Okay, let's castle. Let's take. Let's go rook d eight. He goes rookie four, so I'm just gonna go here and bishop g7, I guess. Okay, so he's trying to attack, kind of. You can go here and bishop h8. I, I mean, I think I'm just gonna go here, takes and queen e7, probably. Oh, I, he hung the pawn on c4. Wait, wait, he just hung this. I didn't realize this was hanging. Wow. He just hung this pawn. Like when he went here, he just hung the pawn. I didn't even see it at first. Okay, I think I just take, take, probably. And I'm just up a pawn. Yeah, that's just clean. Let's go here, knight f5, knight b5. Um, let's just go here and king g7. Up two pawns, let's go here. Up three pawns. Okay, let's keep going. Let's play knight, knight c3, knight f3. Thank you, no guard for the three Peter Panda dance and Matt Mog for the prime. Thank you so much. Let's go here and here. Let's go here. Let's go knight e3, hit the bishop. You can play knight e5 here, but I don't think it's right. I'm just going to play h3, d4, c3, just standard. Standard boilerplate moves, just castle the king. I think this pawn is bad, actually, on h4. So that's why I'm playing it like this. Let's go c4. I mean, I have c5, maybe, even. I'm just going to castle for now and go king b1. Did I just give him e5? No, then I just drop back. I also have knight g5, I realized. Let's go here. Maybe knight f5 is a move. I can also go knight f5 this way. I can also play something else. Bishop b4 is a move. I'm just going to go here to hit the bishop and then bishop b4. He's also just got bishop f8, which is a problem. Hmm. Okay, let's just go here, I guess. Oh, I just blundered g6. Oh my god. But I have bishop b4, luckily. Very luckily. He misses it. I He had g6, which trapped it. Okay, let's go here and takes. Okay, take, he goes back. I can obviously trade. I can also take. Let's take. Let's take. Queen b6. I have queen f5, I think. I also have rook d1. I also have c5, knight c4. I just be a little bit careful here. This bishop is potentially very, very strong on e5. It's a really nice wooden shield in the middle of the board. So I do have to be a little bit careful here. Should be a pawn, but... Oh, I could have... This one was better. 
I took the wrong juicer. I was supposed to take this one and come back to F3. This one was a good one, because then I could bring the knight back and hit the bishop. He goes knight e4, so wait. So I, first of all, I take. Second of all, I have a check. Okay, now he's going rook d2. So I think he blundered here. But let's let's be careful. How do I play this? I have rook d1. B2, king, king c1. I also have knight e8, but that looks insane kind of maybe okay i'm up a lot of time so i can definitely think here knight c2 is definitely a move though don't love it what else do i have queen f5 is the move i want to play in a way How do I win here? I should stop thinking so much. I should just move. I also have king c1 maybe. Rook b2. One rook c2 and then like knight f5. Why am I thinking so long? Why am I thinking so long? I know this is winning somehow, but I literally, for some reason... Okay, let's just go here. I just saw it for way too long there. I mean, queen g4 was a move, but I was worried about f5. It's two pawns, so probably I should have just done it, but... He's thinking too long here. Also, queen g4... Okay, I go here. I hit the rook, I hit the bishop. He only has one move here, so... Or no, he has multiple moves now, because I put the knight on c2. Yeah, okay, seize it. I take, I go here. Bishop c3 was a bad move. Now, now I get to unwind my position a little bit. Now I should be winning with the pass pawn. Here we get the dub. Let's go again. Okay, let's play c6, d5. I just don't grab the pawn. Let's go here. e6, bishop g6. It's going to go knight e2. Okay, let's, let's not blunder this time. Let's play h5. Okay, let's see. Can I take or not? Okay, this is... I mean, he's he's begging me to take again. <laughs> bishop f4, knight d5, bishop d6, rook d8. I mean, he's begging me to take. I'm, I'm going to be smart for a change and not take the stupid pawn. Like, I'm just not going to take the pawn. I'm just going to not be an idiot here. No, nah, not again. Don't take the pawn. Yeah, okay. Yeah, dude. You think I'm going to fall for it now? No, I see your idea. I see your dirty, tricky ideas, my man. I'm not falling for it. He goes bishop. Okay, so he's really trying to bait me. Now I kind of feel like I should take. He's really bait. I mean, he's bait. Look, if it's no good, it's no good. But I'm going to take. I, I don't think he can keep doing this. Like, I just don't believe him anymore. Let's go here. It's too much, my man. It's just, it's too much. There's a limit to how, how long you can keep hanging upon. Um, Let's go here. Yeah, he goes queen c1, but now I should be winning somehow. 
I don't quite know how. So I'm just going to go like rook here and maybe like queen f5. He doesn't have b3 because of bishop a3, which is very important here. So let's go rook d8. Let's go f5. I mean, knight g5's okay, knight d2. I can obviously just trade. Yeah, let's just trade and let's just take this pawn. This is two pawns now. Okay, I'm up two pawns. Definitely winning with some correct play here. Just need to be precise. Let's go rook d5. Consolidate the structure. No pawn pushes. Queen h6. That's a good move. Let's just go here. I'm going to go rook d7. He hung this one, which I didn't see. Okay, I'm just going to take this one now. I can just go like queen f3 maybe to hold the glue. Okay. Let's go here. Oh, I blundered rook up. Oh my god, what was that? Oh, wow. Okay, let's go here. Just throwing this game away. Let's go here. Let's just go here, I guess. Insane what I just did. Let's go here. D5, I just take. I have B4 at some moment. Uh, he wants to take. Let's go here. He wants d5. I see, I see his idea. I'm trying to go rook g8. Okay, I guess I just go c5. Hopefully I'm not blundering something here because I have a mate threat, I think. Okay, it takes. It's queen f6, logical move. Wait, if I take, I also have b4 here kind of as a move. Just go b4. I think this should be winning now. Thank you to Demigod User for the two months, Toe Collector for the two, Aaron Cat for the four, and Valid for the 14, XGXA for the Prime, Benjamin with the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so he takes. So I take. He takes. I take. B3 should be winning here, I think. Because I'm threatening the, the, the Ice Skater on the back, and I have a block. Yeah, I just block. Or, actually, wait, no, now I think I go, where do I go? Let's just go here. Let's block. Let's just start pushing. His king is stuck in the corner. Shouldn't matter. He still can't get out. Let's keep pushing. He's hoping for some kind of stalemate here. I see what he's hoping for. Oh, wait, no. Queen C4 would be a huge blunder. Let's go. I just got to move. What am I doing? Can I push F2? Let's go here. Should be winning, yeah. Now I take and mate. There we go. Oh, good win. Good win. 20 to 1. Pretty good. And now, if I'm not mistaken, it's plus 1. So I think I'm good. That, that was the last game on plus 2 to get to the 32. Because when I played it before, I was 32-31 when I lost. And I gained 1. So 32-32 means I don't gain any points. It's also a perfect number. It's a, it's a mirror. 3-2-3-2. Good mirror. So, all right, you guys. going to take a short break. And I will be right back.